Howdy and hello everyone and welcome back to the 5008 rumor report. Today's rumor comes from me. Well, what I mean by that is that this is something I found in an NCTD board meeting and I thought it was too interesting to not make a note of, especially considering my war on battery and hydrogen. So let's get started. First off, let me give those who are unfamiliar some background. In 2019, the SBCTA started looking into the possibility of using their new Aero line to test out hydrogen fuel cell power in electric multiple units, or EMUs. This is what led to the Hydrogen ZEMU that is now in operation on the Aero line. This ZEMU entered service in September 2025 and has so far been without issue. In 2021, Caltrans and the state received money to develop zero-emission trains and buses for services in the state. Those funds are what is allowing for all of this to happen. With the ZEMU service start being a success and with Caltrans having the money, Caltrans has announced that they have bought 10 hydrogen EMUs from Stadler, which will be higher capacity and a bit more advanced in comparison to the Aero ZEMUs. Now for this info from the NCTD board meeting. Caltrans plans to enter these 10 ZEMUs into service on Pacific Surfliner starting in 2028, presumably in time for the Olympics. But now you're probably thinking, why was this in an NCTD board meeting and not something like Surfliner, Lausanne, or Caltrans? Well, it's because these will be tested along the NCTD San Diego sub from just south of San Clemente at CP Songs to downtown San Diego at CP Broadway. And this coincides with NCTD considering hydrogen equipment for a zero emissions rail service, most likely for Sprinter, but in the late 2030s, maybe even for Coaster when the chargers begin to age. Their current timeline is the following. ZEMUs will arrive in 2027-2028. They will test along the San Diego sub for Amtrak Surfliner service. In 2028 and afterwards, ZEMUs will enter service on Pacific Surfliner on the least popular trains to lower repercussions of breakdown. Sounds. Some great confidence there from Caltrans. And this isn't mentioned, but I would assume by the mid-2030s, ZEMUs will be running alongside the normal Charger and Surfliner car sets, assuming they don't replace them entirely, which is something that is very well on the table. Caltrans has the option to order up to 19 of these ZEMU sets, which would be enough theoretically to replace all Surfliner cars and simultaneously all Chargers. However, these sets are significantly lower capacity in comparison to the Surfliner car sets, so chances are we won't see a full-on replacement. I also have no idea what happened to the hydrogen units that were supposed to go to Ace slash Goldrunner. This was a plan by Caltrans, and I don't know if it was moved to Surfliner or if it's entirely separate or what's happening, but as far as this video is concerned, ZEMUs will be coming to Surfliner by the end of the decade, and it sounds like the chance of this staying relatively on schedule is possible because the Caltrans executive present in the meeting said this project so far is on schedule and going as planned. I know. How rare. So what will this mean for Surfliner service and how will it look at first? Well, in terms of how they will be in service, they will only run from Los Angeles to San Diego. They will not run north of LA as that goes beyond the segment Caltrans has stated will be used for service. The ZEMUs would feature seating and amenities similar to the Aero ones and will not feature cafe segment, obviously. Instead, they will feature vending machines. Oh boy, everyone's favorite. Thankfully, this won't be as outrageous as the Gold Runner Venture situation. The ride from Los Angeles to San Diego is a little under three hours hours, which is a lot better than the six hour ride from Bakersfield to Oakland. Past all this, their top speed will hopefully be 90. If that wasn't their top speed, that would be really dumb, but this is Caltrans in the state we're talking about. I think stupidity is their slogan. Now, in terms of how it would look, they would probably be used on all of the low ridership early morning and late night trains. So probably the splitting up of 761, 65, 90, and 94 into 561, 65, 90, and 94 with their original number trains and separate Surfliner sets from the northern portion. They could also be used on the trains that were cut for lower ridership, such as 567, 68, 75, 76, 83, 97, among a few others. 
Overall, these ZEMUs would be seen during the times when most people won't be traveling at first, and when the 2030s come, I'd imagine we could see them being used on more popular trains. A possibility Calatrans could try when all ZEMUs are in service would be to have LA and South fully utilize ZEMU equipment, and then have the northern portion utilize all older Charger and Surfliner cars, which could be used to increase service north of LA, which is something Surfliner really has been missing. Now finally, what is my verdict on the probability of this all happening? I say it's very likely to become a reality because they're gonna try. With how everything seemed and was said, it appears that these hydrogen trains really are coming, and within the next decade, could become the new face of Surfliner, which is a really weird thought. Just to think that less than a decade ago, this corridor was entirely diesels made in the 90s and the early 2000s, and now it's about to become a corridor half ruled by European hydrogen multiple units. I still believe electrification was and still is a better idea, but Caltrans will be Caltrans. So that will be it for this video, and what are your thoughts on the Stadler ZEMUs coming to Surfliner? If you have any more info on this topic, post it in the comments. If it's major enough, you could see your comment pinned. And if you have any news or rumors relating to rail across the US that you'd like me to make a video about, then email me via the email linked in my channel bio or DM me on my Instagram account under the same name. So without much more to say, I was 5008 Creations, you were the viewer, and I'll see you in the future. Goodbye.